What up, though, homies and homies? It's your homeboy, Grand Tizzle. Welcome back to the lab. If this is your first time here, make sure you hit that subscription button and that notification bell, because you're going to like what we got going on over here. Y'all know your homie Greasy Teasy left y'all with a Jay-Z caricature. And now we're going to do a Snoop D. O'Deple Jill's Z caricature. And um, uh, we're going to have a little bit of fun. I'm going to do a commentary on this one. So make sure y'all pay attention, stay tuned, and check it out. All right, fam, um, I want to walk you through some of the um, concepts behind doing these type of um, caricatures and things like that. The idea is to, of course, emphasize and or over exaggerate what's already exaggerated. So you have to be able to see, um, you know, what makes this person stand out? Is it the nose? Is it the eyes? Is it the eyebrows? Is it the head, the head shape? You know, the lips, the chin, you have to look at that and just overemphasize it. And one of the secrets that makes this work is really what you want to do is have a very big picture and you want to keep the quality of the picture high as possible. But then the other things that you want to do is shrink the head, for lack of better words. You want to shrink the head and you want to make everything else big and exaggerated that's how you keep the detail um of the image so the other thing is exaggerate some of the you know some of the subtle character of the person you know so you know snoop kind of already got this you know raised type eyebrow type vibe going on you also know that he kind of got a very muscly face so you want to emphasize on those muscles um, if you don't get super big, you know, juice uh, lips like Jay-Z, you don't necessarily have to put a lot of emphasis on that. But you do want to put emphasis on like the bone structure. Um, you want them to kind of exaggerate. He's known to be skinny. So you want to make sure that, you know, you kind of emphasize on the skinniness of them. You know, make the neck skinny. Don't necessarily make it, you know, fat. The Adam's apple. Make that boy pop out. You see the chin, the cheeks. You want them to pop out. Um, so, and you want to kind of play around with it a little bit. Um, some, some things work. Some things don't. You kind of got to be able to discern and, um, you know, detect on your own and, you're going to want to play around every now and again, you know. Um, the other thing you want to do is, again, I, I emphasize on making sure that the image is large. Find something as large as possible because you want to use the skin texture. So this is not typical caricature. This is actual photorealistic caricature. So you want to approach it a little different. Um, if you have to, you can draw in some new elements like hair strands and things like that. I got a lot of other uh, tutorials or should I say some of this art that I've done Kanye West you know Rocky uh, different people like that Whoopi Goldberg <laughs> Oprah you know um, uh, yeah I can't wait to get to those but I'm just kind of prepping you a little bit on what is needed from you what you're going to need to do so when you start adjusting uh, in, uh, these different elements you know mustache and things like that Again, you want to keep it crispy, so you want to make sure that you got high resolution images. You're going to want to sharpen it and um, add uh, other little textures. The other thing you may want to do is put some emphasis on the color. So let's say, for instance, if you look around his nose, you'll see his nose has uh, got a little bit of yellow, but you'll also see like in the sockets of his eyes, it got a little bit of red. So when you start colorizing it, and we'll get to that in a second, when you start colorizing it, you emphasize, you put a lot of emphasis on the color there, you see, and that really cartoonized the image and make the image cartoonish. Um, as you see, see, we go back and forth here. And, and it's funny because you can actually just use the top face and just the lips, and that would have been a caricature by itself. So I advise you that when you want to attempt this on your own for yourself, 
Start off with just one thing to emphasize. That's it. Uh, start off, say, for example, just the lip or start off just the nose. You know what I mean? Or whatever, whatever Snoop is known for. Snoop is known for his eyes. So you want to emphasize the eyes. You know, can you detect is the eyes beady and little or are they big and broad and wide? Well, uh, compared to somebody else, they may be little, real beady, you know, real, real, real slanted. So if they beady and slanted, you want to put the emphasis on the beadiness and the slantiness, the longness. You know, how do what's the spatial element between his eyes and the middle of his nose? You see, so as you see, I'm going back and forth. You know, I'm really over exaggerating those those parts. Now we get more into 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 serious depth on my uh, serious tutorials, but just for the you know for these simple ones here, I'm kind of just giving you the gist of what's you know what's really going on. What you see me doing right now is really putting a lot of emphasis on the texture of the skin. So. Um, as you see here, you see me going back and forth. You know, I took the original image and I just laid it over this image. That way, we just looking at the skin. Now you see here, I'm, I'm adding the, the the color, darkening the color, or should I say, making it more exaggerated. I'm putting a lot more texture. I'm, this is called dodging and burning. So that's where I. Uh, I don't actually darken the lips or lighten it or darken the shadows or lighten it. I do a dodge and burn and dodge and burn. What that does is if something is already light, it makes it more lighter. It adds more contrast. If something is already dark, it adds more darkness. Um, you can watch a tutorial. I, I kind of share that on one of my other tutorials. So you see right here, I'm kind of drawing in fine, fine hairs. You know, that really, really adds to the the uh real realism of the image you know when you actually draw in the, the hairs and things like that i want you to pay attention pay a little bit of attention to what i do to the knuckles watch what happens when i um emphasize on the hands you see and this is really good like if, when you can caricature hands and things like that it helps you to really understand what caricature really is so we put emphasis on the knuckles. Watch how we do these knuckles here. Watch how we elongate the hands. You know, uh, we stretch it, we bend it, we bulge out the knuckles, we bulge out the, the tip of the fingers, you see? And we we darken it. You know, we darken it. We You know, you everybody got an old uncle that was always drinking. You never really paid attention to their hands until they was working on your car, <laughs> something like that. So, and it'll always look exactly when you're young. So that's kind of the same thing, uh, you know, what we got going on here. And you just really exaggerate, you know, you, you treat, you're being childish for lack of better words, you know. Every now and again, I like to challenge my picking out some faces and doing some caricatures and testing out my caricature uh, skills and my Photoshop skills, more importantly, because you still got to know what you're doing with Photoshop. This is a really good skill to uh, pick up on, um, fam. Something that you uh, really want to consider to learn because um, you're learning how to manipulate. This is this is the true definition of photo manipulation. You don't see no uh, everything is clean. Uh, you know, everything is perfect. Everything is exaggerated. You don't see no lines. You don't see no different connections. That's something that you're going to want to uh, work on. You're going to want to emphasize on. So if you like this, if you're interested, make sure you leave a comment. Let me know who you would like to see. Give me some names. And um, I got a couple more coming up. If you like this, if you like this type of content, I can definitely drop some more of these. I got Kanye. Uh, I got Kanye and Obama. <laughs> Y'all got to see these two. But uh, if you like it, you know, make sure you leave in a comment what you would like to see or if you'd like to see more. And, um, you know, I know y'all say y'all want to see the long ones, but I look at my analytics and I see y'all watch just two, three minutes of this one. You know? So get them averages up and I definitely drop the, the full fledged version. All right. That's it, fam. Thank you for watching. And um, I, I appreciate you uh, checking it out. 
And there's definitely more to come. Definitely more serious training coming. So make sure you stay tuned. Until the next time, I'll see you guys in a minute. I'll see you guys when I spin it. Deuces.